In Swift UI, you can apply shadows to views using the shadows modifier. You can also use an image, for example, to cast the shadow to create a diffused shadow. A diffused shadow on images carries a soft glow of the image itself. As you can see in this video, you can see the aquatic image has this soft glow that runs from the bottom left to the bottom right. You can implement this effect, for example, on images in an image gallery by repeating the effect consistently so that each image will carry a soft glow of itself. The shadow can also be placed anywhere on the bottom, right, top or on the left. By using both coordinates of the offset modifier, we can also place the shadow on two coordinates. For example, if we want to place it on the left and on the top. In this video, we are going to create the diffused shadow in two steps. One, we will duplicate the image you see on the screen and place it behind the original one. Secondly, we are going to apply blur and blend modes in order to create the shadow. So let's get started. Let's begin by expanding the code. You can see we have a single image and the text above it. To create the diffused shadow, we are going to duplicate the image. To do that, we have to command click the image and place it in a parent view. We are going to place the shadow behind the image, so we are going to select the option Z stack. Then we are going to select the image and make a copy and put another copy over here. Since we are using Z stack, this image will be placed behind this one. So this is going to be the original image and we are going to use this as the shadow. Let's use the offset modifier to move the shadow to the position we want to put it. We want to place the shadow at the bottom of the image. So we are going to use the offset modifier and make use of the Y coordinate. We are going to set it to 40 and that moves the image down as you can see over here. Next, we are going to blur the image. So just below the corner radius modifier, let's apply blur and set the blur radius to for example 15. You can experiment with different values. So you can now see we have casted a shadow behind this image. We can also adjust the shadow by changing this value of the offset. For example, if we change it to 30, you can see we reduce the height of the shadow. What we have to do next is to use blend mode. Let's put the blend mode above the blur. Here we can experiment with different blend modes, but let's start with plus darker and that makes the shadow very thick. So let's reduce the height to for example something like this. We can experiment with different blend modes. So let's copy this one and paste another one just below it and put comment here and change the blend mode type to multiply. And that we get different effect. Let's also see luminosity or hard light. Finally, I'm going to set the blend mode to difference. And this is the results we get. So you can experiment with different blend modes and blur radius. We can also change the position of the shadow as I said in the beginning of the video. To do that, we are going to change the value of the offset from Y to X. And now the shadow is positioned on the right. By using a negative sign, we position the shadow on the left. We can also use the Y coordinate along with the X coordinate to position the shadow at the left and the bottom. So here, let's add the Y coordinate and set its value to 20. So you can see we have the shadow at the left and at the bottom. By experimenting with different blend modes as well as blur radius, you can create 
very realistic diffused shadows here inside SwiftUI. 